Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? <laughs> yeah, how the heck are you? Welcome to Rover Land. This is a one on Wednesday, and look at this crazy thing I got, huh? Yeah! Sights and sounds like you wouldn't believe with a pullback action. <laughs> All right, welcome to Wednesday, a one on Wednesday. This is your friend Dano. Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. And if you don't mistake, this is a Range Rover Fire, what is it, Fire Captain Rescue, Fire Rescue. Now, um, I believe I bought this bugger in the wild. I, I really do believe so. Um, I, I live uh, near a... Uh, tourist town very touristy town uh wisconsin dells look it up capital uh water park capital of the world and i go over there quite a bit i, I love the dells um and i go over there quite a bit and i i try to do some shopping and uh i believe i picked this one up there i'm, I'm really sorry that i i don't remember the story completely but uh, yes nothing nothing at all on this bugger about who or what it is. It's made in China. There is a number there, but I think that has to do with the batteries. Yeah, it takes uh, three uh, three batteries, uh, you know, like uh, like watch batteries, but they're a little bit thicker. But uh, if that's not a Range Rover, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, very, very neat. Very A very nice model. The, the wheels are a little bit small, but... Uh, like I said, just check this, I mean, several, several different sounds to it, uh, headlights flash, I don't think the, the back does have, uh, lens details in it, but they don't light up, uh, the rear doesn't open up, the glass does have a rear wiper on it, uh, you know, pretty neat, and I like the, uh, has the diffuser fin on the back there. Uh, I, is that the backup light? Or is that a stat <laughs> antenna up there? I'm not really sure. Uh, the glass makes up some of the uh, uh, C pillars and stuff like that, but uh, not quite accurate there. But check this out now. Bam! The doors open up on it. Yeah, pretty awesome there. Yeah, I can't believe they, they don't like to stay open. They like to shut. <laughs> but it's got the uh, shark gills on the door. That is pretty, uh, uh, you know, uh, Range Rover, apparently. <laughs> and uh, just a very nice, this is a very nice model. I, uh, I probably paid like five, six bucks for this bugger. It didn't have the batteries in it, so I, I had to put batteries. Left hooker. Very nice, comfortable. Um, no, you know, the door frame is, uh, you know, it, uh, not quite accurate on the door frame and window uh, frame there. But, hey, what can you say? Uh, they just stuck this light bar on there. I don't, I'm not sure if that's riveted through or not. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, yellow, or uh, yellow. Yeah, blue and red uh, light bar there. Pretty, pretty nice. It sticks right out there. I, I think it might be to scale. I'm not sure, <laughs> but there you go. Not, I don't believe those are uh, stock Range Rover wheels. Uh, I, I don't recognize that uh, um, wheel configuration, but uh, yeah, uh, there it is. One of Wednesday. Do you, do you folks? I need help now. Do you folks have anything like this? I mean, uh, this is really a, a unique model. Um, uh, I, 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 you, if you know me, I like this off brand stuff. That's, you know, obviously it's a Range Rover. Now it doesn't say Range Rover on it, but if that's not the grill 
or um, you know the knockoff grill for a Range Rover I don't know what is uh, so there you go we're just gonna <laughs> that, was, that was parade mode there but it goes it goes pretty good uh, you gotta really give her a pull back there <laughs> I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get in trouble for trouble for playing with my Land Rover Range Rover on the uh, YouTube channel. They're gonna say that's uh, that's for kids, man. You better knock it off. <laughs> well, there you go. Very nice model. Uh, I really don't. I don't think that that um, Insignia. If we could get it in focus, there. Fire Rescue. That's just a plain old, uh, you know, run of the mill Fire Rescue. I'm, I'm sure this is probably the Chief's car. But uh, what is that, a fire hydrant over here? And a, what is that, a badge? Or, or is that the, the cross and... Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't see. I think maybe that's the blue shield-like uh, cross over there. But you see a ladder. And then the uh, horn, that, that's, uh, isn't that the uh, nozzle for uh, a, a uh, fire hose? And then it's got the hook grapper there and then uh axe the fire axe there so very very detailed uh little uh sticker on there and that it is i believe a sticker no oh sorry <laughs> oh I'll get you some of that in the morning uh no that is a decal it's not a sticker that is a decal and uh yeah, we're just trying to reflect the light on there and see it. But I picked this up not too long ago, that within the last uh, six months or so, and uh, just a really unique uh, little thing. This is the only one they had. Um, like I say, in the Dells, Wisconsin Dells, uh, in Wisconsin, uh, very touristy, and they have a lot of um, uh, gift shops and stuff, and a lot of times they have trays of these. Um, Oh, 15, nine uh, vehicles in a tray, a uh, plastic tray, and these, uh, well, it's a cardboard tray with a plastic insert, and these pop in the insert there, and they, all you got to do is a retailer, you open the lid up like a cigar box, and uh, it just, you know, displays itself. So they just have a lot of, uh, they do call, you know, Dell's is a touristy uh, place, so they do call this, you know, it does call for a little bit of a price because you got to pay the tourist premium price but uh very nice details inside i tell you i i'm really kind of impressed I, I wasn't uh uh you know like overly upset that i i had to pay like five dollars for it uh you know 4.99 5.99 uh because it is it is a pretty good detailed little vehicle and uh i'm not really big on the uh fire and rescue stuff I know that there's a lot of guys out there that that's all they collect, and that and that's cool. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, if I, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the. I don't know how many different sounds it makes. Okay, we're good. You're just gonna, <laughs> you just be quiet while that's going. All right. But yeah, just a really neat. You know, I mean, it, they take after the newer uh, Range Rovers. You know, with the. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that, like a knife edge uh, teardrop, uh, uh, you know, style headlights that the new Range Rovers have. You know, I mean, the 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 grill is kind of dated. That uh, look alike grill is kind of from uh, days gone by. But you know, it's it's a uh, you you know it's a Range Rover. You know it's a Range Rover. But I mean, they even got uh, details down in here with the the down in the bottom valence, and then uh, up in here. I don't, I'm not really sure what those are, but yeah, very very interesting little car. I like it. I wish I could have found more. Um, you know, uh, summer's right around the corner, so we're gonna be uh, heading down to the Dells more and uh, checking it out and seeing if we can get some more. They got a new shipment coming in because you know, hey. 2020 baby <laughs> we're gonna be ready so if i get any more of these it would be nice to you know uh customize them and uh do some different things i'm thinking this is like a 143rd scale or uh something like that so nice nice little detail there you go what up wednesday thanks for joining me today 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hey, if you've got some of these, come on over to Facebook or anywhere, uh, Instagram, Roverland Channel. Check it out. Let me know what you got. For right now, slow traffic, keep right. Have a great Rover day.